Hi there everyone, it's the Cartographer here and today I'll be showing you how to do a cursory investigation. If you didn't like the last trial because of its use of a timer, copious simulators and bleeding damage, the good news is you'll be able to demonstrate that at the very least you are consistent as you probably won't like this trial either. To take all three medals we need to not miss any checkpoints, kill six simulators and avoid any fire damage and bleeding damage. There are bear traps spotted around the place and lots and lots of immolators. This really isn't that bad of a trial. It's like our last um, running trial in that we've got time between checkpoints to sort things out. The immolators have fixed spawn positions, which is really good, and they are a lot more consistent than the hives in the previous one. I think this is quite a nice trial, to be honest. I'll show you the best pathing and the best thing to do with all your equipment and we'll get going. All right then. All right then, so first things first is we're just gonna run down here. We've got plenty of time, so you don't need to be too um, strenuous about things. Disarm this trap, we'll just sort of jump around it. And we're just gonna make our way through the next few areas. This first simulator, you just need to grab his attention by punching. He'll run into that bear trap and blow himself up. Then you can just run through and carry on this next area, get an easy immolator kill. As you go through this next barrier, just watch out for that bear trap. Crouch through and start loading up a choke bomb. As you come around this corner, you should be able to throw it and time that immolator to come running in and that's your second immolator kill. Now you just need to get your mad sprint on and you just need to follow the checkpoints. There's lots of immolators that will trigger. You just need to keep your distance. Watch out for the bear traps on the floor. Jump over the walls so they don't follow you. They will naturally run into some bear traps and there's some hidden in the bushes that you just need to keep a close eye on. Now, them running into the bear traps is where you'll get most of the fire damage from, but you'll also incidentally get a lot of your kills. Come up this ladder and as you can see, we've already got the immolator damage and throw a choke bomb here. And that'll just avoid any immolators that have survived running into those bear traps and setting off and giving you fire damage. I've lost a few runs to that and it's very annoying. As you come around here, there's sometimes an immolator over there. If there is, you just need to take the time to choke bomb in because otherwise, oh, yeah, there it is. Come up here. Okay, just watch yourself. Most of them will just run into bear traps and kill themselves. That's where a lot of the damage and a lot of the issues come from. It's really not that bad a trial. Um, if you just follow this path thing and throw those choke bombs in the places that I've shown you, I promise you, you will be fine. This is not that bad of a trial. You just need to keep an eye on where you're throwing your choke bombs and how close you are to different bear traps. The first half is pretty much fine. It's the second half where there's strategically placed traps next to where there's a climbing section or a ladder and you just need that choke bomb cover just to kill them uh, before they run into it and cause any issues. On the whole, I think you can do this within one or two goes. You just need to get the pathing down and get some of the timings right. Oh, I've just, just died. All right, I'll attach you my three-star run and I'll see you in the next trial. Great, thanks guys.